Now, types of variables. The first one is called as local variables. And the second one is called as instance variables. And third one is called as static variables. Now, anybody, what do you remember local variables? What do you remember local variables? Inside body of the method. Okay. The variable, the variable which is declared inside the body, inside the body of the method or constructor, inside the body of the method or constructor or block of code, block of code is called a local variable, local variable. <laughs> now, inside the class, actually we'll say it as inside the class and uh, outside the method, outside the method, actually we'll say that outside the method. Whatever variable you declared, whatever the variable be declared outside the method, which can be accessible to all the methods and which cannot, which can be accessible to all the methods. For example, we'll say sample example. For example, I'm declaring int x comma y comma z. I'm declaring three variables. Now, whenever you compile a program, we need to write a program with a class name, something like class test, right? Now, under that, I'm going to declare public void, something like addition. Now, I'm going to declare one more method. I return some code, something like body of the code, or code one, and I've been close up. I've been closed with process. Again, what I'm doing, I'm going to create now. Whatever variable you've been declared outside the method, these variables can be called to this method. Similarly, it can be called to the second method also. It can be called to the second method also. This is called as a local variable. Actually, we'll call it as a public. Is it correct? Is it correct or not? Anybody is having a doubt? Uh, So the local variables can also be called as a public variables. Global variables. Is it local variables is correct or not? I'm saying. Is it correct? It should declare inside the method. Hmm. It should declare inside the method. So what we can do is just we can copy that and we can call inside the method. If you declare these variables, now it can be accessible only to this method and which cannot be called to any other method. So these local variables are also called as a private, not a public. Global variables are public and local variables are called as a private. So if the variables are declared inside the method, which can be accessible only to this method and which cannot be called to any other method, to any other method that is called local variables. Local variables can also called as a private, can also called as a private. Sir, can I, if I declare outside the method, what will happen? If you have declared these variables outside the method, those are called as global variables, mean that these variable can be accessible to this method, to this method. Similarly, those variables are also declared, can be accessible to this method. These are called global variables. So now presently we are working on local variables, no? 
So variables which are declared inside the method can be accessible only to that method and which cannot be called to any other method that is called as a local variables called as a local variables. So now local variables can be used inside the method or a function or a method or a class. Now these local variables, these local variables can be a static variable. What do you mean by static variable? Anybody? Constant value. Constant value. Okay. Value. Any other buddy? Anybody? Anybody? No idea? No idea. Hmm. Static variable are nothing but a constant, madam. Which can be accessible, which can be accessible only to that method and which cannot be accessible to any other method. For example, you want to perform the addition, subtraction and division. You have you need to declare x comma y comma z, but you have declared x comma y comma z only in the addition. That variables cannot be used for remaining methods. That is a static. That is a, a static only to that method. So the local variables can also called as local variables. Local variables are also known as known as uh, known as. Uh, Static variables, not public, madam. These are all private, right? Private, madam. Global variables, global variables are, are also known as, known as public, known as public. So public. Now, can you give an example for this? How what? How we are going to use the local variables and global variables. Now, Now see, now I declaring the values like now. So here I'm going to declare. So if in local variables, I'm going to declare inside the method itself. Now what I'm going to do, just right click on the package, go to new, click on the class and mention as local variables, local LV. And I'm not selecting any public static void main. Just there is without the main method. Just I'm going to click OK now. So this is the method, right? Now inside this class, what is your class is? LV class. Under that, I'm going to declare. I'm going to declare the variables of X comma Y comma Z. Do we need to declare? First of all, I need to create a method, right? So public void addition. Under the addition, I'm going to use int x comma y comma z now right now x equal to x equal to 10 you can declare there only y equal to 20 z equal to x plus y so system dot out dot parental and z okay z now now i want to compile the program so there is no main method right there is no main method. You can create your own method. Public, uh, static, void, main, string, comma, ox. Okay, now? Got it? Anybody? Any doubts? No. no now, sir. What is your hmm. class name here? What is your class name? LV. 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 So I'm going to create an object for the class name LV A equal to new LV since 
i want to compile i want to compile the method which is present in the class in the main method i am going to create an object for the class using that object i am going to call the method a dot what is the method here a dot add addition a dot addition so what i'm doing i've been creating a method i've been creating a very declared values inside the method and there in the main method i'm going to create an object for the class using that object a i'm going to call the method which method addition so now if you compile it so result is 30 right so 10 plus 20 equal to 30 now sir i have one more method can this variable speak can be called to the second method we'll try with that so public void subtraction under that so i'm, I'm not declaring that z equal to x minus y x minus y system dot out dot println z so i'm going to declare z semicolon now i'm going to call the same method a dot subtraction save the file now if i compile that automatically it throws an error since see <laughs> what is the error we are getting out what kind of error we are getting out see z cannot be resolved to a variable x cannot be y cannot be since these are all local variables only can be accessible only for addition for the subtraction you cannot call those variables so if you are going to call them that should be global variable so now instead of that so i am going to declare these methods outside the method so if i declare them now these variables can be called to this method as well as to this method also to this method also now now what is error can anybody tell what is error inside that what is error we are having what kind of error we are throwing It is taking Z as inter. Now, if we compile this, will this works? int x equal to 10 int y equal to will this works yes sure in okay, i'll show you this now i'm giving int x equal to 10 y equal to 20 so automatically it will come to the addition and z equal to 10 plus 20 z equal to x minus 10 so just Got it? Addition is 30 and subtraction is minus 10. So these are called global variables or we can also call it as a public variables which can be accessible to this method and also to other method. So if you want to create one more method, you can create and you can call those methods to the third method also. So I'm going to use addition, subtraction and multiplication x star y x star y so i'm going to declare and here i'm going to call the method a dot multiplication a dot multiplication if i compile it automatically these variables to be called for addition subtraction and multiplication these are called global variables or instance variables is it correct can we call these global variables as instance variables? Is it correct or not? 
correct. Yes. Yes. Instance variables are also called as a, a public. No. Local variables are also called as a private or called as a private. So that's the difference between the instance variables and the local variables and the local variables. Global also called as the public, no? Yes, that's it. Global also called as a public one. Say written and global variables are also known as public. Okay. Is there any other program to write for this? Now, right now. So these are the difference between local variables and global variables. Now, based from that variables, we are having some user inputs also there. So we are declared the variable inside the method. We are declaring here and we are assigning the values to the variables and we are going to call those variables. Now, without assigning the values, the user can input the values. The user can input the values. Those are called as user input values. So user inputs in Java. What are those user inputs? Please enter your name. Please enter your password. So that is the user needs to enter some values. Right? So those are called as actually called as a user inputs. These user inputs can be done by using a function called a scanner. Scanner is a predefined, is a predefined, defined class which is used to take user inputs from the, in Java, user inputs in Java. So we need to enter some values, All right? So without, we mean that we need to create an object for this Java scanner and using that object, we can assign to the different types of data types where we can assign it. Now, this scanner, this scanner class is defined inside the Java util package, util package, util package. Mean that it is a utility function. A Java is a scanner is a, a Java utility function. Whenever you install the Java, automatically these jar files are being stored. So those will always be called as the keywords. Those we can also call as a predefined or these are all called system defined also. We can say it as a system defined function. Next, this scanner consists of consists of multiple or consists of many functions, many functions to take inputs or to take user inputs. User input. There are many functions are there. There are nothing but we can take, we can give user can give the integer values, user can give double values, you can give use the single value, user can give the character values. User can give the string values. User can give long, short, different types of data types where the user needs to specify by his own, by his own. Now, there are different functions are there. The first function is called as next int. We'll call it as a next int. Next int is a function which is used to read the integer values by the user. So we are giving, if you want to give any integer value, we need to use a function called next int. Okay. Next int is used to read integer values, integer values from the user, integer values from the user. Next, next float will example see you out, right? Next float to read the, to read the, float values from the user. If you want to read float values, nothing but decimals. Decimal values. Marks, total marks, percentage. There we use float values. 
So we use next float. Next double. To read double values from the user. You may say the double values. Double is nothing but after decimal. It can be any number of values. Actually, we'll call after decimal, we'll call it as mantisa. Call, can we call mantisa? No. The before decimal is called mantisa and after decimal is called exponent values. We call it as a exponent values. So after decimal, it can accept any number of values. Actually, called call it double. We call it as a double. Next. Next. We'll see once you come to the operators. I'll show you. I'll tell you the data types. Okay. Next. Next is nothing but to read the string values. String values without any spaces string values without without the spaces without any spaces if you give testing tools string testing tools equal to there should not be space between the testing and tools testing tools equal to selenium testing tools equal to manual Testing tools is a string, is a string. And testing and the name should not be, there should not be any space between that. In that case, we used to have next function. Next function. Next. Next line. Next line is used to read string values from the user. String values from the user. Next, next short, we use next short to read, to read short values, short values from the user. That's all. Now, in scenarios, we usually used to work with the integers. One is integers. Second one. We used to have your float values. We'll call double. In Java, you don't need to use any float or single or long or short. We directly use as a double. After the decimal, it can be any number of values. The double. We usually used to work with the double characters. Next, we are going to use string values. Either you can use next or next line. The difference is in the next, you should not accept any spaces for declaring any value to the variable. Next line is to display the string values. I'll show the difference then, then get out. Now we'll see sample program. Using the next, using these commands, we'll try to write a program. First of all, I want to add two integers. And that value should be stored in the third variable. So I'm going to declare three, two variables. I'm going to assign the values to A and B and I want to store them in the variable C. Previously, what we have done is just X equal to 10, Y equal to 20, just to give in them. Here we need to enter by the user, user function, user function. See now, write a program to enter two integer values integer values using scanner and get the third value and get the sum get the sum and store them in the store them using third variable using third variable using the third variable now for that so i'm going to create a class Right click on the package, go to new, click on the class and mention as scan one, something like scan one. So I'm going to declare, do we require? Yes, I'll select the public static wide main click finish. Now here I'm going to use, whenever we want to use using the scanner, we need to create an object for the scanner. Is it audible to all? Any doubts? No. No. Okay. What about others? 
I can hear only few members. No doubts. No doubts. No doubts. Okay. No. So we are going to use scanner. Yes, C equal to new scanner of system dot in. What is the meaning of is? Scanner is a predefined function or in a Java library which is used for the user inputs. Using the scanner, I'm going to create a variable called SC. New is an instance of a class. System dot and in is an utility function in Java. It's utility in Java. Now place the cursor to the scanner. Import scanner java dot utility. Right. I created an object for scanner. Now I'm declaring variables int int x comma y comma z. I declare three variables x comma y comma z. Now I'm going to input the values for a and b, and the result should be shown in the C. Okay. Now for that system dot how dot how dot print a land print a land enter the value we can write anything inside that enter the first value first value okay then now what is the variable created what is the first value x okay now uh, x equal to what is the scanner variable what is the scanner variable? SC, right? Yes, SC. Dot. What is the, if you want to enter the user inputs for this integer, what is the function we use? Next int. Next int. Okay, na? So, user is going to enter the integer values by using the scanner and is being stored in the variable x. Storing in the variable x. Now, so system dot out dot print land the value which you entered is entered is right so first it will get the value of x so enter the value of x value similarly i am going to enter the second value also so system dot print land enter the second value enter the second value now we need to click clear y equal to sc dot next enter so the with the value which you entered is y value so i'm inputting the values of x and y now these values i'm going to make the combined mean i'm going to add that so z equal to x plus y so system dot out dot print land the sum of the sum of where of x and y are plus z that's all now now i'm going to compile it just run the program first it will ask you enter the first value 12 enter the second value 23. Got it? Is it okay? Is it clear? Yes, sir. So this is, the, this is the scanner function. This is called as a scanner function using two values. Adding two values and storing. Right? Now, can we add two strings using scanner? Yes, we can add it. We can add it. So I'm going to declare instead of string, I'm going to declare instead of integer, I'm going to declare a string, string x comma y comma z, string x comma y comma z. And instead of int, what we can do? We can give only next. Next is a function which is used to input the string values by the user. Okay. So ent enter your first name, enter your first name. The name which you entered is, first name is, your first name is,
Now, enter the, enter your last name. So instead of next in, we can change it to next. And here I'm going to use the, the your last name is, your last name is, save that. Now we can add this to, right? Now, the name which you entered is, the name which you entered is. Now I'm going to come by and I'm going to run this. So please enter your first name, Balakrishna. Enter your last name, Eddana Pudi, something like, okay. So what is your name? You entered is Balakrishna Eddana Pudi. So this is how you are going to use. So user input values. This is called, you. we can enter the integers, you can enter the strings. Now, can we do it with float? Yes, we can do it. Float also the same thing, right? Got it? Yes. yes. String values using scanner next function. Right? Now, the same thing which you can work with the string double string. No, string is over. Now we'll try to work with the double. So double. Now here, instead of next, what we can do? Next double. Dot next double. Next. Enter the first name or first value. First mark. First mark. Enter your first mark. So your first mark is 